Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, this is part 5 of this um, video. Um, and so, in the last video we did this whole open function that creates an account and sort of um, makes it equal to whatever, blah blah blah. Um, and posts it into a file, obviously. Um, and so, I've noticed there's a few errors with this. Um, so with this here, it's got a for loop that assigns the information in that position to i so we don't need the file information here we just need the letter i and then the same with this one here we don't need file names we need i uh, i and that's assigning the variables of file name to i um, now with this one here we need to put a string around it as currently it is an integer and so it's printing nothing. It won't be able to print it to the uh, file. Um, and then we've got this one here, which we also need to put a string around, and we don't need the square brackets either. So string i. All right. Now, running this, it should work. So we're going to go ahead and test that. Right. So now we go ahead and type o for open, as in that's the open account uh, function in the menu button. So I'm going to go Steve. And starting to balance $500. Now that looks like it may have worked, so we can go back up to the file system and check the folders. Alright, so checking now, we want to check the files. So it's printed, yep, it's printed uh, 11111 eight times to the um, files account, although it's printed in the wrong line, this should be in number one position. Um, and in bank ID, it's increased it by one. Uh, we also want to check our file system, so if we go ahead and go into this here, um, you'll see that if we go into bank accounts, we have one account here stored, and if we drag it over, it has printed all of our um, data into it. The ID, the name, the money, how much money they have, and then when their account is opened and how much money they had when they opened their account. Right, okay, so... Now we want to go on to making a saving uh, function for the bank system. This is going to be run here, like it's going to save the previous opened account when you're opening another one as the file information in the uh, current information uh, list is going to be overridden, and so you want to save it prior to overwriting it. So I'm going to go ahead and define uh, save, and then we're going to uh, import the global of current information. Uh, current information? Yeah, current information. Um, now, we're going to need to do another save uh, file path sort of thing. So we're going to need, um, it'll be this one here. Although, uh, I think it will be right. No. No, it's current information zero, sorry. So yeah. So we're going to go current information information zero because it's taking the first value from that previous um, list so this list here that's whatever's in the first position because it's only running that if there's something else other than NA in there it's saying whatever this one is which is the old ID and it's creating a file in the path or reading the file in the path or overriding that file with the new information um, obviously everything that was in the file is already stored in this list, so I'll just rewrite it all. Um, and then we want to go ahead and we can go um, and write another for loop. So for i in current information. Um, and then we want to go and get this here. Uh, no, yeah, no, we want this one. And this here is going to run and do exactly what that is. And it's going to be pretty much exactly the same as oh, the file. It's just going to save it and override it, whatever. Um, and yeah, that's currently all there is for the save function. Um, that one obviously just gets run here, or if you type in uh, S in the menu down in the console when you run the script. Um, so next we'll go ahead and we'll do the, um, I think, We'll go ahead and do the display. Actually, no, we'll go ahead and do uh, the quit function. So quit. 
and we'll do uh, deposit. So define quit. This is just so that prior to you uh, leaving, um, prior to you leaving or quitting out of the function, it saves your current open one. As if you've made any changes, it won't save unless you do it. So we're going to call save, and that's only if uh, this is met as well. Current information is not equal to NA. So there. So if if it is equal to NA, then it won't save. And then we just call quit, which just ends the code and drops out of it. But it saves your information into, it calls this function here, and saves all your information into the file before it quits, so that you don't lose any information um, by not saving. Right, now, we want to go ahead and do the deposit function. So we're going to go define deposit. Um, this is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the withdraw, so we're just going to copy and paste those um, as we just need to change it to minusing the number instead of um, increasing. So we're just going to go amount equals um, integer input. And then we want to go um, how much would you like to deposit. Um, and then the user will type in how much they want to deposit. And then we'll go current information to equals integer of current information to uh, plus amount. Now we have to do this uh, integer of current information because when it's in the list and it's been imported from a file it's currently set to a string and so you have to change the function file or the file type to integer before you add to it. Um, this means that it's, it can be a problem if you, like you can't put integer around this first value, so you can't use plus equals, you have to call it this way. Um, now, you want to go, cause, because we have, what we're doing is we're doing history as well, um, this sort of thing here, you want to go and write current information, current information dot append, and you want to, um, so for this one I'm just going to take this here and go like that because that's now changed and we're going to change that to current information 2 as well current information 2 and then we're going to go uh, deposit as you're depositing into the account that amount of information or that amount of um, money now because we've we're just copying and pasting I might as well do that now this mail as well uh, we copy that and paste it, and we change that to withdraw um, withdraw and instead of adding here we subtract and withdraw alright so we can go ahead and test that, uh, that will be this that will be the last thing for this video but um we can go ahead and test it and look at the files and stuff. So we'll go do that now. Alright, so we're going to open a new file, uh, Steve2, uh, $1,000. We now, if we, uh, we can't load details actually at the moment because we haven't done that function, but we can make a deposit of, say, $500. Oh, uh, okay. So what I've done here is I haven't changed the those files when we're depositing to the current information sort of thing to a string. So we need to go ahead and do that. So being back here, we go string, because this is appending to, um, I think this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Oh yeah, yeah it is, because we're concatenating, and you can't concatenate a string to a str uh, integer, and that's what's causing this problem. So we need to put string tags around this. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's what it is anyway. Right, we'll go back and test. Uh, actually, no, when we're depositing, we're not writing up the full thing, we're writing how much they deposited. So it'll be string of amount and string of 
amount. So that's how much they're depositing, how much they're withdrawing, um, and so you're taking that amount. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the testing again um, and see if it works. Alright, so now we're opening the file. We're going to go Steve 3 this time. Um, $1,000. We're going to deposit uh, 1000 We're going to deposit 500 We're going to withdraw 250 I'm going to withdraw 20, uh, say 36. Right, now we want to go ahead and open that file that he saved into. Alright, so um, if we drag this over um, and we open up this file here, you'll see the account is, is that the right one? Hmm. Uh, uh, I know what we're not doing. Um, it's not being saved because we didn't quit. Alright, hold on. I just need to go ahead and save that file as like, so we need to use the queue to quit. Alright, so now, um, where, where are we? Um, if we open up this, there we go. So now you can see that it's deposited 500, deposited 1000, deposit withdrawn 250 and withdrawn 36. When we've finished, oh, and it's also got the new balance. Um, so when we've finished, this will be this will obviously be fixed as it will sort of rewrite that every time. Um, it'll be more like every time the menu comes up, it'll save it, and so um, we will it won't have to be manually saved every time. But yeah, All right. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I hope that helped you with withdrawing and depositing um, next video we'll be working on displaying or loading I think loading maybe um, because we want to load the accounts before we display them and then we may be doing some more to the menu to either or we'll obviously be adding the saving function to the menu and we'll probably be adding um, maybe a display so you know what account you've currently got loaded um, but yeah thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you watching the next video See you.